There have been scandals, for example, that, that I, I hate using that word, but there have been important issues, let me rephrase, on Orange, the helicopter service, which is a life and death operation in which tons of money has been wasted and helicopter and other aircraft equipment has not been properly purchased. And the Star, I'm proud to say, has been leading that coverage, but the opposition, despite having some good ideas on that, hasn't been sitting, hasn't been there to hold the government to account in these committees. If this were Ottawa, the national media would have been going over and over about the need for uh, committee and full legislative accountability as we saw in the prorogation issue. And Queen's Park, I think, the opposition dropped the ball on that one. What concerns me is if there's any suggestion that money's not been spent as it should be, if there's any uh, suggestion that an agency uh, or a part of government that's supposed to be acting in a certain way is not. Um, I'm pleased that my colleague Deb Matthews has taken some very tough and strong action. We've got uh, a new board in there. Um, there are auditors in there. I expect we're going to hear lots more about the results of those audits. Uh, she's moved very strongly. But as far as Orange is concerned, I think that's really symptomatic of the whole problem with the McGuinty government. A lot of spending, very little accountability. And it's really only when problems are exposed by the star or other um, media outlets, sometimes through the party's own investigations, that action is taken. So far from being really proactive on this file, this is a government that only reacts when it's blowing up in their faces. Sherry DeNovo, have the NDP been AWOL on this? Absolutely not. Uh, it's not our prerogative. It's the government's prerogative when we sit. They're the ones that have chosen to sit only three weeks and come back February 21st. So our chance to hold the government to account is being held by the government. Uh, and in fact, on committees and on the whole discussion about that, it's the government that's bargaining in bad faith. Uh, we've both gone in uh, trying to make concessions, trying to get a discussion going, and they've simply moved not one inch. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.